Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing American flamingos. Originally, American flamingos were classified as the same species as the greater flamingo. However, that classification has since changed, and the two are considered separate species as of this recording. Like their greater flamingo relatives, American flamingos are some of the largest flamingos alive today. These birds stand upwards of 5 feet tall and weigh anywhere from 4 to 8 pounds. American flamingos, however, can be told apart from greater flamingos because they're exceptionally pink. They're often touted as the pinkest of the flamingos, with their bright neck and tail feathers. American flamingos have pink legs and pink beaks with a black tip. As their name implies, these birds live in the Americas. In fact, these are the only flamingos found in North America, and there has been a lot of controversy about whether or not they should be considered a Florida native. Records indicate that large flocks of American flamingos were once found in abundance throughout southern Florida. However, hunting pressure likely extirpated them from this range. Today, they're making a comeback. However, it's unclear what their status should be, native or not. There are few records of American flamingos using Florida as a breeding site. However, some evidence suggests eggs may have been collected there prior to 1900. Some claim those spotted today are simply escaped captives. However, trends suggest that the American flamingo's population is increasing in the United States. American flamingos are also known as Caribbean flamingos, and this also alludes to their range. These birds live from southern North America, eastern Central America, and northern South America. They're also present on the Galapagos Islands. American flamingos don't migrate per se, however, they are considered nomadic. They'll move to a new location to access food. All flamingos, not just the American species, prefer salty, shallow water. They'll pick salt water over fresh water, and can actively live in water that's double the saltiness of the ocean. American flamingos like salt marshes, mudflats, shallow lakes, and more, where they can wade and stir up their favorite foods from the bottom of the water column. American flamingos eat small crustaceans, algae, plant seeds, and more. Their color comes from their diet. In fact, captive flamingos are generally less saturated than their wild counterparts. They use their hook-shaped bill to filter small food particles out of the water by bending over, splashing their feet, and swinging their upside-down head from side to side. The inside of their beak, as well as their tongue, is covered in comb-like bristles that capture the food. In turn, these birds have to watch out for nest invaders, such as raccoons, as well as birds of prey and jaguars. On average, American flamingos live about 20 years. However, they can more than double that if they manage to avoid threats. American flamingos form huge breeding colonies that synchronize their mating so all the babies are born around the same time. There isn't a defined season, as they gather when food is most abundant, typically after heavy rains. They'll march as a group in a mating display that everyone takes part in. Both parents work to construct volcano-shaped nests, and a single egg is laid inside. The egg takes about a month to incubate, and within a week or two, the chick leaves the nest and joins up with all the other chicks that were born around the same time. Synchronized breeding leads to synchronized hatching, which means the chicks can gather in a large group, which provides safety in numbers. It takes about three months before they're ready to fly, but they take much longer to obtain their pink feathers. Until they're about three to five years old, American flamingos are white and gray. Baby flamingos also have straight beaks. It isn't until a few weeks after hatching these birds start to show off the curved beak present in adults. Until they can eat on their own, they're fed a nutrient-rich fluid by both their parents. Even when they're in a group, a chick's parents can single out their baby. Communication is a big part of the flamingo lifestyle. Here's an example of their call. Even as babies, however, flamingos are commonly sighted standing on only one leg. This posture helps keep them warm as it prevents heat loss through the tucked up limb. For more facts on American flamingos, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.